Happy Friday. So today we're gonna discuss how to shred fully charged lithium ion batteries. And this is gonna be the first video of a series of a couple videos. And through this series, we're gonna go through each different step. So if you like this video and you wanna watch more, you, we're gonna put more and more of these videos out and you'll have the whole series of how to do this. So uh, how to shred lithium ion batteries. The first thing uh, is fully charged batteries. You really don't wanna shred that if you can. So the goal is you keep that out of your stream. You try to discharge it. Um, there are ways to deal with it before it reaches the shredding process. Um, but you really want to keep your batteries to a minimum of, you know, 30%, 20% or less charge. It does happen where you do have a fully charged battery that, or fully charged cell or a couple cells that come through this. And this is why we have the safety things that we put in place because we want to make sure that there's no, um, no adverse effects on the whole system, on the people, on the environment. So the first uh, way, and there's, there's more than one way. We can do it dry, we can do it wet. So we're gonna start with dry. So if we do it dry, um, typically we're gonna have a conveyor going up to a massive airlock. And I like using a double airlock. And some of these can be, um, some of these can be different, different styles. So there's, there's like a, a arm that goes like this, in this one here, I'll draw just a, a knife gate. So this is a gate that just goes in and out. Uh, and you have a minimum of two of these. So material comes into the chamber and this gate opens. Material falls down into this chamber. This closes. Then this opens. And then it is into the shredder. And then in here, it shreds. Now, what happens in here is there is inert gas. So it's an inert chamber. Uh, now this here, you will have, um, as you're shredding, you're going to have some mini explosions, mini fires that happen in here, whether you have inert gas or not. Um, it, this is going to help to remove the oxygen and to displace the oxygen that's in here, but you're going to have, regardless, batteries create their own, uh, oxygen. Um, so you're going to have a, a, a risk of fire in here, but by adding the inert gas um, and by monitoring what's happening in here, you can keep a pretty good control on it. So if you think that you're gonna have a higher chance of having batteries that are fully charged that come through here, I would suggest going wet. It's just safer overall. Um, and the other option to going wet is to, before all of this, go through a process that completely deactivates the battery. Um, and we can talk about that some other time, or if you wanna have a conversation with us, we can talk about that more in detail there. Um, but this is for batteries, post-consumer batteries, uh, or batteries from, you know, uh, recycled batteries from cars and whatnot. So from here, after the material goes through the shredder, you're going to take that material and come out of it and go into the downstream, which is the next step. We'll make another video about that next. So if you are doing this wet, it's gonna be the same process. We're gonna do the same conveyor up to airlocks and another airlock and then the shredder. I'm gonna make this exaggerated. So you're gonna have the dual shaft shredder with the hooks in it and this is my horrible attempt at making hooks. It looks more like cat ears than anything, but hooks all the way through. You've seen dual shaft shredders, how they work. This could also be a quad shaft shredder, in which case you'd have a screen on the bottom. So what we wanna do here is we wanna flood this chamber. So this whole chamber is gonna be filled with water. And what happens, I, I over, overdid it here. So what happens is you are going to have that water. If you have that water up here, smaller batteries like cell phone batteries and, and uh, plastic batteries, uh, polymer batteries, they can't, they can't get in here and the hooks can't grab those batteries because they're floating. So you really want to get those batteries to get grabbed by this. So what you do is you keep your water level and we can do this right at this. So you're going to have some sparks and some right up here, but almost right away, they're going to be pulled and brought right below the water level. So you just want this to be actually that this water line would be a little bit high, just high enough so your hooks can grab it. So um, anyways, so that's that. And then from there, it's going to go uh, into screw augers uh, downstream that are going to further uh, squeeze the water out and get it as dry as possible before it goes to the next step. So that is how you shred um, 
charged or semi-charged lithium ion batteries. Again, you want to limit how much charged batteries go in this as much as possible. There's other techniques like I mentioned that you can put before this to completely discharge them so that when they get here, there's actually no concern of that whatsoever. However, in that case, we are still going to go through uh, the the airlocks and in that case it's more for dust than anything else but we're still going to monitor heat we're still going to monitor oxygen levels and uh and and thermal events in that shred stack as we go further downstream so like comment subscribe hope you like this video if you do stay tuned for the next video we're going to discuss what happens after this happy friday happy friday in today's battery bleh, Happy Friday. In today's video 